Hey, I'm Joshua, and this is my first entry in my Homestead Journal. That's what I'm calling this series. I am committed to doing at least 10 of these to see how it goes. So I'm calling it a Homestead Journal instead of Gardening Journal because we're going to include everything that we have around. It is the second week of January and it's 40, 45 degrees out here, so it's not too bad. Here in central Virginia, we don't get terrible temperatures. Uh, we're in zone 7A. Oh, actually, it just changed to seven, uh, zone 7B. The USDA zone's updated. But yeah, so we're gonna just pretty much see everything. Oh, there's a lot that we need to do around the homestead today. Hey, ladies. Here are 12 buff Orphingtons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Hey, they're all outside today. Um, there are some improvements that I wanna make for the run. So we just got chickens less than a year ago and it's a decent enclosure. It's about 200 square feet, um, but then I extended just kind of a fenced in run here. Uh, they are exploring and going towards the road. So we wanna do, um, like a, an electrified barrier at some point, so we can also put bees, honey bees in it. But for now, this works. I'm gonna add more mulch, um, more mulch in here. I wanna put a roof over the run um, and put on a better door, because right now it's just this little slip of, uh, of hardware cloth. So those are our chickens. I think Jonah's gonna come and get the eggs, so I won't get any, but we should have some in here. When I put this on, I thought I did it so that way it would fall open. Don't fall over. Yeah. That when it hung here, it would be perfectly out enough that I could just lift it up, but I miscalculated. Whoa, 13 eggs. Whoa, fell over, but caught you just in time. So 14 eggs. Um, 13 or 14 eggs from our 12 chickens over the course of two days. In the winter, I, I think that's really good with these shorter days. Um, when it come, came to outdoor projects and gardening projects, we had a very uh, non-existent December. Um, just other things came up that just uh, took, took full attention. So the garden is a mess right now, but I, for this homestead journal i'm just going to show everything we have our um, compost piles over there um, we have um, the garden under the deck needs to be cleaned out i was i was doing some stuff here uh, two days ago cleaning up some of that and rinsing off some things um, i've been trying to dry this plastic for like two months now it's what was left over from our um, mini greenhouse i'll show you that now i still need to attach this to the to the gate there and i think i want to paint it black because if you paint chicken wire hardware cloth black it disappears like the this light will not reflect so i think it would look a lot nicer for for a gate so that's on the list here um we're going to turn all of this into a flower garden that's on the list those carrots are actually good here look you can just pull one out they're solid This greenhouse doesn't currently have anything in it at the moment, um, but that plastic was left over from there. We have onions. Nope, strike that. We have garlic in this bed here. Um, most of the things are empty. I wanted to add some more compost to some of this. That's going to be now that I'm re I'm able to focus on some of these outdoor tasks to get things going. Um, I'm excited. I, I have a list going. I'm going to spend a little bit of time every day outside. Here's our blueberry bush. It's, this will be its third year. We got um, like three blueberries last year from it and our asparagus is over there. 
We haven't harvested any asparagus yet. This will be the second year. However, um, I'm planning on tasting it at least. I know it won't be quite ready for, for harvesting. Yeah, and then a whole bunch of overgrown things. We have this space in here that's overgrown. Um, we're going to dig out that, add another one there, just so we have these six uniform beds in the hill. Like it's, there's a, a decent hill here and that's a good way. I call them retaining wall raised beds. Um, we have a fence over here that needs repairs because I attached the shade cloth to it that I never packed up. That's on my list to pack up. So I need to repair the fence there. Just that pole right there fell off of right there. Nothing too serious. It looks bad in my eyes, but this is this space is great. I'm super excited for the start of the season and the fact that it's only the beginning of January, we'll be able to get a lot of projects done before planting. Our expected last frost is in April, middle to late April. Um, and most of our things will be going out in May. Um, you know, things like tomatoes, peppers, squash, things that <clears throat> don't like the cold. Oh, I wanna build a patio here. I'll zoom back here a little bit. Build a patio there. And I, sometimes I'll bring a chair out here and just put it under the umbrella. This, I've been waiting to fill this so I can put it on the patio. Um, right now it's just kind of my holding space for things. Oh, that looks bad. But then here's the expansion. So the, the fence was here uh, until last year and then we expanded this way. So we got another gate here. Oh, I'm really excited for this. Oh, we have new growth actually. That, I don't think that was there a month ago. These are climbing roses. These are uh, pretty and pink Eden climbing roses from Heir Heirloom Roses. They sent them over as a gift and I'm really excited. They're supposed to be able to fill this trellis up. So let me step back here and you can see the trellis, the cattle panel trellis. It's suspended off the ground, so it's higher than it could be. Um, it's probably eight feet, maybe a little bit more. So that's gonna be covered with roses, it better. No, I'm excited for that. Uh, we have garlic planted in between here where the sticks are. We're going to be putting with uh, peppers, interplanting. Um, I'm really excited to fully utilize uh, this this trellis. I did this with a Tink Tube, um, a, a channel sponsor. They've, they've been great partnering with. Um, but these pipe systems, these are really cool. So I'm expecting to be able to do a whole lot more with um, this trellis, it's a string down trellis. I'm gonna do cherry tomatoes, super sweet 100, and oh, family's pulling up. Hello. Uh, super sweet 100s and uh, sun golds. And we're gonna do the lower and lean string down method. So I envision by the, towards the end of the summer, beginning of fall, this will just have tomato plants at like a steep angle wrapping all the way around. So come back for that. Well, I haven't cleaned up the loofah yet because there's there's not really a need to, uh, but that'll be a project here in the next month or two. Um, but our loofah wall, gonna expand that. It's currently two cattle panels. So we'll expand that to be another, um, I guess another one, so another 16 feet. Uh, <laughs> so what's that gonna be, 64 feet? Um, what are they, 16? 16, 16 would be 32. Um, so 44, 45, I'm gonna edit this part out. What is it, what, what's the equation here? Just 16 times three, six, 32, 48. Yeah, 48, I did not say that. Wow, I'm gonna blame the cold. Uh, all right, and I need to add, hey Fletcher. I need to add um, the hardware cloth on this as well. So let me get out of here. So I can keep that one closed. Hey guys, look, I got a carrot. Yum. Yeah, it has a lot of dirt on it, but we'll wash it off and it's gonna be delicious. Jonah, how was school? Good. Nice. Jonah goes to school just two days a week and homeschools the rest of the week. So it's a really cool program. Teddy. Oh, he's going grass. Look at him go, he's gonna fall. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he controlled his speed. Wait, happy anniversary. Nine years. I got the other quarter from Rosie. Nine years. Look, I got candy. All right, what do you have? You have to tell me. <laughs> so we're gonna bring some grubs so they can throw some holes in it, but the chickens will come right Yeah, I got a little bit of grubs left. Yeah. There's our wet back it's filter drying bag. out. Egg basket, all right. We have over a dozen eggs. Jenna's gonna help me get them. 
Do 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 do. Want to race? No. No? You started running. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Go around. <laughs> ah. Wait. Where are we going to? <laughs> All right. You you uh, feed me to the chickens. All right. You want to give them some grubs before we get the eggs? Sure. Go around. They know Jonah. <laughs> you don't want some? Go for it. So, we these are Buff Orrington chickens. One. They really like this side the best. This left side is their favorite. This one's over there, then we can move the uh, we can move your ladder over. So we cook these eggs for breakfast. So we're, we're my dad wants honeybees. Yeah, honeybees would be great. Yeah, we have to get thousands of nests. <laughs> well, we need to have probably one to three boxes. We'd start out small. Okay. Ah! Is that the last one? Yep. All right. We are having uh, breakfast for dinner. So we have sausage and eggs. It's going to be a very nice breakfast so, or dinner. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I don't know if we got anything, but you can check it. <laughs> uh, Jonah's seven now and great he's showing a lot of interest in in helping outside and uh, starting to do more with gardening and he absolutely loves the chickens he loves the chickens the most but we all enjoy having them around <laughs>